On Friday, September 8, 2023, our most cherished Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, kindly shared news from her tireless efforts to help save and uplift the world, including her recent interactions with the King of Zealous Demons, King of Illusion and the Creator regarding the conditions for completely eliminating the planet's karma and how we humans can help to realize it. Maya, the king of illusion, has been forced by the king of zealous demons to change, to alter, to erase all the karma on this planet. And the so-called creator of this world has been locked in jail because I sue both of them for doing wrong. You see, I have sued the creator and Maya, the king of illusion, because I caught them again for not walking the talk. Because one day, the king of illusion, Maya, used the name of the ultimate master or some of the peace kings. There are many kinds of peace kings. Universal peace king or, you know, planetary peace king, world peace king, for example. And the Maya would trick me by impersonating the world peace king or the peace king or even the king of zealous demons to tell me some things which are fake to try to make a division between me and those people or even the ultimate master. And then I checked it out and I caught them. It's not the first time I caught them, but luckily I had some time to check it out. So I told them, this is not true. Even you dare to cheat me. I have not done anything wrong. And those people you mentioned who were supposed to have done wrong to me, they did not. You try to divide us and make us maybe feel at war with each other. This is not correct. That's not true because you are supposed to be truthful, but you're not. And the Creator allows you to do that, to cheat people, to lie to people to bring them into the wrong way and then punish them if they do wrong accordingly. So that is not correct, that's not fair. And you keep doing that all the time already. Many times I have caught you doing that, even to me. So I order the Creator to be taken to hell because He and Maya committed sin against their own law. So now the Creator is in jail, in hell, waiting. He doesn't have to burn or suffer yet. But if he doesn't change, then he will have to be punished the way he punished others for doing wrong. And I'm very happy to have done that. I'm not regretting subjecting them to trouble, to hell and confinement. Because that's the way they have been doing, subjecting people to wrong ways, wrong deeds, and then punishing them in hell. So I say, now take your own medicine. I'm still waiting. That's how it was. When I force him, he has to do something to change this world into a better place and not harass humans, not cheat humans, not tempt humans into doing sinful things and then punish them forever so that the humans or all beings have to recycle forever and forever in this hellish world. I say, this is not the created good world. It's a hell. So you change it. That's how it happened. But still the karma of the war has not been erased. It's all because of humans. They told me that. Well, it is true. Is it true? It's like that. The king of zealous demons tries hard to prove that he's really working now for goodness, like for peace and for veganism to make this world a better place in exchange for his and uh, his subordinates' freedom. Because I threatened him the other day also that if nothing works well and he's not sincere, all of them will be in hell, and this time no more leniency. So I did try to force the king of illusion, the karma king, to change the karma, to erase the karma, meaning that the world, people, and beings in it 
will not have any more karma. But then they came back to me. They said to me, we have tried, but that has to have the agreement and cooperation of the people as well. I mean, the humans on this planet. And the human people answer that if the karma is all erased and all done, then they worry that they might have like a boring character and they would not know how maybe to enjoy their lives. It could be just your excuse. I said to the king of illusion, Maya, and the creator, that is only an excuse because if you could convince them or trap them or trick them into being bad people on earth, then you could convince and try to change them into good beings on this planet. But they told me that I should also talk to you, all of you. Well, I try. I said I have tried many, many years already, many decades already. So I asked the people, your souls, your people, your planets, people's souls, to answer me. Why would you think that you would become boring and there would be nothing here for you to enjoy? And you say, you guys are just worried. Okay, now I will try my best again to explain to you, to clarify to you that it's not the way you think. Imagine people in heaven, they have everything they need. They never have to worry about money, the mortgage, mm, the food, and... uh, you know, accidents or government tax or change of governments, making trouble for them. They never have to worry about atomic bombs and nuclear weapons or anything like disasters, shortage of food or war breaking out anywhere, anytime. That pandemic just came when they didn't expect it and expanded its power over people's lives including their own and their families, their loved ones. So this is the life when all the bad karma has been erased and that you become a good being, a decent human on earth. And later when you die, you will go to heaven and join the life that I have just told you. In heaven, people do what they want. They don't worry about anything. They don't have karma because they never do anything that creates bad karma. And they're free to go anywhere at the push of a button on their belt or just by their thinking. It depends on what heaven they are in, higher or lower. And whatever level their relatives, their friends, their lovers are, still they are leading a higher life like that, worry-free, trouble-free freedom to the maximum that you can imagine. And that is in heavens, on earth. Imagine all my so-called disciples, they are vegan. They keep the five precepts. That is not stealing, not lying, not committing illicit sex, not uh, having intoxicants, You know, those are not good things that you should do. And not killing, of course. And they're still living happily, more happily than ever after. All they do is just make peace with themselves, with each other, in my group at least, and with all of you, wherever they are. They don't trouble you, they help you in any way they can, with my instruction or not. They spend their money, their effort, their love, and their time to help whoever is in need. And these people have nothing to do with them. Have they Not their relatives, not their friends, not their lovers, nothing. Just complete strangers. But they came, gave all their heart, all their effort to help them. And any of them could be you as well. I could be even talking to some of you right now, many of you right now whom we have been helping 
without knowing your name, your address, without ever contacting you again to ask for any help or anything from you. Nothing. We don't even expect you to become members of our group. Nothing. And they are happy, happy. If you don't believe me, you try to find any of my so-called disciples and ask them how their lives have been ever since initiation, even new initiates. And new initiates already experience, you know, happy lives, healthy lives. There are some of them that caught COVID-19 because they were not careful with what they were eating. They didn't read the labels well, or they believed it was vegan which it was not. You know, nowadays, sometimes they put things with animal people, substance in the food, packet food, or in medicine. And sometimes they are not careful enough. They're too busy. They just eat without looking well or asking. Or it's difficult for them to ask, or they just believe that it's vegan. So then they get COVID-19, but then they recover very quickly. Compared to others, non-vegans and outside there, many don't recover. You know it yourself. Most of them don't recover. And you can see rows and rows and rows of quickly buried tombs everywhere on the planet. None of the countries have been spared of COVID-19. And now there are more variants, and they are planning already to maybe lock down again or masking, or both. Now think about that. No matter how much money you have, you are never safe from the karmic retribution, that the law of the universe, the lower universe, will apply to you while you are still here. So do not think that the people who became more virtuous, who became vegan, and who became peaceful citizens would be boring, or have a boring character, or have boring lives. Everywhere my so-called disciples go, people love them, people thank them. People are very, very impressed by their nobility, their regal manner, their good character, their virtues their heartfelt sympathy and compassion to all beings, including you, whom I'm talking to. So please, please don't be worried. Just let go of your worries. Have peace in your mind and trust the Almighty to arrange everything for you perfectly. You don't have to live your life to go to heaven. Just live your life here in peace with all beings, including all the animals, people, and other beings like trees, even stones, plants, flowers, and insects. They will also live in peace with you. Imagine a world with no pandemic, with no war, with no high-rise in taxes and food prices, no high-rise in building house mortgage, just Imagine you live your life simply, easily, and happily with your loved ones and your children. No worries about divorce, no worries about cheating, no worries about scandals of any kind, no worries about anything that you don't want to worry about. You live your life the way you want and leave all others to live their lives the way they want. 
all will be happy and contented. And God will provide even more and more and more to make your life on earth like heaven. Imagine giving your children this kind of life forever. Imagine keeping this beautiful planet always, forever. And all beings are there for you to enjoy their beauty, their blessing, and their peacefulness with you. Imagine you coming home to your family if you work outside or work in the home and you're always peaceful, always together doing whatever you like to make each other happy, to make yourself happy. Imagine your children never waking you up at night with their fever, with their sudden infection or any disease anymore, that you can sleep all night long and see your child in the morning peaceful, safe and happy, growing up in peace, never worrying about running to escape war, escape prison, escape any trouble at all, that they will not take drugs, alcohol, to make you worry about their safety, their character, and their freedom anymore. Imagine everything the way you want. It would be the way you want. So it's not a boring life at all. It's a life of heaven, of freedom, absolute freedom, absolute happiness, absolute safety, absolute wellness, health, contentment, and sufficient of anything you want. You will see that your life will lack nothing and you'll be contented anywhere, anytime. The government will be the ideal protector, the ideal law protector and life protector that you always wish them to be. Your children will never have any terrible common or strain disease they will look perfect, like the children in heaven. Your marriage will be stable. Your wife, your husband will always be faithful and love you to the utmost. And all of you will know God's blessing, know consciously as well. All of you will be uplifted to a higher level, spiritually, by the merit of you to live in peace with all others and relinquish all kinds of tendency to kill, to harm any others and yourself. You will never have any strange things happen to you, depression or anything that you had to take alcohol and drugs for, and then your life rolling down the hill for the worse. Your life will always be better, better and better. And you will feel heaven's blessing. You will feel God's love. You will be happy, happy, just like in heaven. And the more we live like that, the more our life will improve physically. More inventions will come without harming the environment. Everything will be just the way you dream to have. Life will be like a dream, a beautiful dream, and forever like that for your children, for your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren. That is the life all of us would want. People who become crazy or become different in character, stray from goodness, like become sadistic, they are like that because of all this bad karma that they have created for themselves in the past life or present life due to also the influence of the negative power. If we are free from all that, you will see no more crazy people, no more sadistic people, no more trafficking of humans, or kidnapping of children or women, no more thieves, no more bucklers, no more of anything that you never want to happen in your life. Anything that you think is a dream life would come into reality. That's the life we should live on earth and later on in heaven. Hell will completely be demolished because no one will have bad karma to go there, to suffer, to be punished, to redeem for their sin, or stay forever in there, because their sin is too enormous to clean up. That is the life that God wants us to have. That is the life of God's children, 
Please believe me, I gain nothing telling you all this. I tell you all with my heart, because you are me. We are together. In the whole universal system, we are one. I wish I could give you everything to your heart's content, all the good things that make your life happy, blissful, contented, everything that you want. But you will find that your ambition will not be so wickedly driving you mad, like most of the time nowadays. Imagine you, you just have the girl of your life, the woman of your dreams, the property that you feel you're in love with and can keep and stay there many generations as well. Imagine everything will be just the way you want. This is a paradise life. I wish all of you to have it, and that's what God wants you there. I mean, the real God, Almighty God, not the low God, the creating God that messes up with the souls, with the desire of your real life, that mesmerizes you into this material world and doing all the bad things so that you continue to have to pay for karma, you have to take punishment and recycle forever in this physical planet and be under his control. That's what he wants. Please wake up now. Please change. Please let the illusion king, Maya, change your karma, erase your karma with me, with heavens, so that you will be a free soul, even while alive already on the planet and have everything that you ever want to have and wish to have, given a little time. You see many people who are rich, so rich, ultra rich, but they're not happy. And look at Russia nowadays, how many oligarchs have been murdered, uh, poisoned or killed while they are still at a young age or even at an old age, they still are not ready to go and they don't even know where they're going. But if you let the karma go, you change your way of life, make your heart beautiful, like the beings that you really are originally, then you have everything you need. And you will find that you don't really want that much. You will be just too happy, too contented with your life, wherever you are, whatever God gives. But God will give more than enough for you because your karma will be gone. You'll be entitled to more than what you are right now. You are working so hard, sometimes two, three, four jobs, but still don't make ends meet because this life is full of trouble and trap and your past karma will not let you free. Of course, this kind of cheating, blunder, tricks and traps have been going on ever since time immemorial to lure humans into doing bad things so that they can keep controlling the souls and restrict them here in this physical world. We have to change it. We have to agree. We have to do this revolution together in order to free ourselves and our children. It's not just is not kind. And we also have to become just, have to become kind, have to become, you know, decent beings. 
We cannot shed each other's blood, including the animal people, co-inhabitants' blood, and eat it. Oh, this rotten flesh, even, of all beings that you're putting in your mouth every day. It is too cruel, too brutal, too barbarous, too uncivilized, too disgusting. And you know that very well. So please, change it. We will change it together. And the world will become a paradise for all of us to live in. Even if we are already elderly and we don't care too much about life and death, we have to change for the future generation, for compassion's sake, for decency's sake, for God's sake. My God, la. You are intelligent and all have enough IQ to understand this principle that I have just talked about, I have just mentioned. So please, be a decent being, be good, be kind, be noble, be God's children on earth. Thank you. So please listen. Just one time in your life, change your way of life. Let God decide for you what's best for you. It's just very simple to change this world into paradise. Just be vegan. Make peace. Do good deeds. Heaven and earth and even hell are watching you to see if you're doing that. Then your marriage will come. Your happiness will come. Your prosperity will come accordingly. Please let us help you. Please. With all my sincerity and love, I'm pleading with you to change your life so that you become better. Life here will be better for yourself, for all around you, especially for your loved ones, like your family, your wife, your husband, your children, yes, your friends and your neighbors. You will live in peace and happiness and enlightenment liberation, here and after. I pray that God Almighty grants us mercy and helps us to make efforts to change, help us to make it easy, no excuses for the king of illusion, Maya, not to change, to help us. Help us so that the Creator is able to help as well. Many hands make light work. I'm there with you all the time, through good and bad. I want you to be free. I want you to be happy, because that will make me feel free. That will make you happy. That will make me happy as well. So please, 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 just change to vegan, make peace, do good deeds to whomever you can, in whatever way you can. Or just praise whoever does good deeds. Just rejoice in seeing good deeds, in seeing peace, seeing people be vegan and be vegan yourself. If you cannot do much more at all, just be vegan. Make peace with your neighbors and with the next nation. Please, that's all you have to do. Doing good deeds or not is up to you, but it's better because... The souls whom in the physical world you help will help you in the hereafter and in this life they pray for you. When you die, if you are alone and have no relatives, no friends, no loved ones who pray for you, these souls whom you have helped in their physical existence, such as humans, such as animal beings, such as great trees and plants, they will help you, they will pray for you. And any prayers will be taken into consideration. Even if in your life you have not done much else good. Please believe me. Please see in your heart that I really care for you, worry about you, and love you. That's why I'm telling you this. 
I know it's difficult for the minds of humans to believe anything that they don't want to believe, but please do for once. Please do for once and see your life is changed for the better. The world will change into a paradise very, very, very soon. Otherwise, we'll be all diminished. We'll be all gone, almost be gone. And whoever stays will start anew from zero. If they can even survive, whatever will befall the earth next. Recently, so many disasters are happening like never before. Many cold countries have become hotter than ever before, hotter than in the Arab or hot countries. Many diseases are coming more than ever. Even all kinds of insects are going to different countries, wreaking havoc everywhere like never before. Floods like never before, unprecedented disasters everywhere, even happening simultaneously. From August 20th to 26, 2023, the planet was once again hit by unpredictable events caused by climate change. In the meteorological history of these seven days, many temperature records of unbearable heat were recorded. But this is just the beginning. The forces of nature made crushing blows one after another bringing new disasters each day. On August 20th, Tropical Storm Hillary, with the strength of a Category 4 hurricane, struck the west coast of Mexico, the California Peninsula, and the southwestern United States. Entire neighborhoods ended up buried under tons of mud and debris. People trapped in the dangerous trap had to be evacuated using bulldozers. On August 21, a series of natural disasters struck the countries of South America. A forest fire broke out in the municipality of San Luis, Argentina, and the Ubinas volcano woke up in Peru. In Chile, two people lost their lives as a result of flooding in the south-central region. The next day cataclysm struck various regions of the planet with renewed force. On August 22, a massive wildfire broke out in northwestern Turkey's Çanakkale province. Driven by the wind, the fire spread over vast areas. After this event, a lot of people will have to start their lives over from scratch. On the same day, residents of the western part of Saudi Arabia were affected by the storm. The storm's main impact hit the cities of Mecca and Jeddah. The hurricane winds and rain literally knocked people off their feet, easily demolishing billboards and metal structures. The residents of India continue to suffer from heavy rains. On the same day in the town of Kotwara, a car was swept away by a rushing water stream. Roads were closed due to flooding and landslides. On August 22, a storm with hail struck the northern Buenos Aires province in Argentina. The city of Pergamino was hit the hardest. Some hailstones reached the size of tennis balls. The disaster damaged houses and cars. In another part of the world, a storm with hail struck the town of Katyrokorski in Poland. Trees were fallen in some places. On the same day, Tropical Storm Harold struck the southeast Texas coast, causing heavy rains and local flash floods. And on August 23rd, Tropical Storm Franklin hit the Dominican Republic, leading to the evacuation of more than 5,000 people. A state of emergency was declared in almost half of the country's provinces. At the same time in Russia, heavy rains flooded the Kremersky Cry. In a few hours, nearly half of the monthly precipitation norm fell in Vladivostok. Ashuriysk also went underwater. Fires continued to rage in Greece. Roads, beaches, and residential houses were engulfed in flames. As of August 23rd, 64 fires and new casualties were reported. The following day, 
The hot weather in southern Germany was replaced by storms with heavy rain and thunderstorms. And in India, in the city of Kalu, Himachal Pradesh, several high-rise buildings collapsed due to a massive landslide caused by monsoon rains. In Brazil, a strong storm raged in the state of Sao Paulo. The strong winds uprooted trees, destroyed poles, and overturned cars. On August 25, the streets of Vladivostok were flooded once again in Russia, while in the town of Vyborg residents filmed a water tornado. In the state of Louisiana, USA, wildfires engulfed an area of over 6,000 hectares. The entire population of Maryville town was evacuated. After heavy thunderstorms and heavy rains, a storm swept through the states of Michigan and Ohio. Wind speeds reached up to 87 miles per hour. As a result, about 700,000 people were left without electricity. Some areas were flooded. On the same day, a tornado struck Ingham County, Michigan, claiming the lives of at least five people. In the state of Illinois eyewitnesses filmed on video an anomalous phenomenon, continuous lightning flashes, and large hail fell in Saudi Arabia and Austria. A powerful storm that began on the evening of August 25 and continued on August 26 covered several European countries. Germany, Spain, Italy, Czechia, and Slovakia. In Spain and Germany, the storm was accompanied by abnormally large hail. Tens of thousands of households were left without electricity. Meanwhile, tropical cyclone Saula was gaining strength in the Pacific Ocean. All these events were happening incessantly, day after day, without even a pause between these powerful manifestations of nature.
Oh, is this where we sleep? People are dying everywhere, young. Some diseases never happened to young people before. Now they come to young people, like cancer, for example. Many strange diseases come and stay. Many strange viruses stay. Many ancient bacteria viruses have come back. Many strange animals and strange diseases are befalling our Earth everywhere now. NASA climate scientists are warning about the potential resurgence of so-called zombie viruses, or viruses that can come back from the dead. They say warmer conditions are causing part of the Arctic's permafrost to thaw. If it thaws significantly, they say some viruses that have been lying dormant for tens of thousands of years could reemerge and possibly endanger animals and humans. Scientists say the permafrost acts like a time capsule for viruses. The CDC warns the respiratory virus RSV is rising in the southeast. RSV causes cold-like symptoms in most people, but can be dangerous for infants, the elderly, and those with weakened immune systems. A recent study found there is a 79% surge in new cancer cases in people under the age of 50. In addition to genetics, the findings found a Western diet consisting of too much red meat and salt and not enough fruit could also be putting young people at risk. Alcohol intake and tobacco use were also highlighted as cancer risk factors. The state saw its first two human cases of West Nile virus last week and Triple E was detected in mosquitoes for the first time in Massachusetts in three years. And there is a statewide outbreak of meningococcal disease in Virginia. It has killed five people so far. The authorities say that the deaths occurred from complications of a rare but serious illness, but a total of 27 people were infected with the disease. The mortality rate stands at 18.5%. After a flesh-eating virus claimed lives in the United States, there is another deadly outbreak that is causing concern. An outbreak of Legionella bacteria has hit Poland's southeast, which serves as a hub for aid to Ukraine. This infection has claimed at least 19 lives and the numbers could rise. Countries around the world are witnessing a fresh spike in COVID-19 cases. While well, a new COVID-19 variant informally named Perola may be behind the rise of the hidden COVID. Every summer it seems like we think we're going to catch a break from COVID and it never happens. The Eris variant in May was responsible for less than 1% of infections. In June, it was 5%, July 15, and August, almost a quarter of infections, 24%. So basically, it's taking over, it's more infectious, and that's why a lot of people are getting COVID right now. Another variant that people and scientists in particular are starting to talk about is BA.2.86. And this variant seems to have a large number of mutations on the spike protein. Scientists think that it probably incubated somewhere in a person who was immunocompromised, so it had a long time to mutate and get a lot of weird mutations on it that we haven't seen before. So they're concerned about that because while we don't know yet what it means, it could mean it's more contagious or it's more able to evade our defenses that we've already built up the immunity we already have. It's hard to say how fast this variant is spreading. It's been sequenced in several different countries, which suggests that it is quite widespread.
by the way, please wear a mask when you go out. Please don't touch your body or your face while you are outside. I've told you before, but I tell you again, protect yourself no matter what. And please remember my plea to you. I'm not talking to you as a master or spiritual leader or anything. I'm talking to you as your neighbor, as your friend, as a human being to each other, knowing that danger is lurking everywhere for us nowadays. I am protected, but most of you are not. And I feel so worried, so sorry for you. It's not just about this physical life that you have to endure and suffer, but in the life after, if you go to hell, my God, my God. Oh my God, I shed tears thinking of that, how much I so have to suffer. Because when you go to hell, you have another body. We call it an astral body, which feels more raw, more sensitive than the physical body that you are having now. So imagine if all this karma is gone and you change your life to make it continue, lasting, good karma, then you will have happiness like never before, contentment, like you could never ask for more. And more enlightenment. Certainly you will understand many more things, have more wisdom. And you will have only love in your heart and happiness in yourself, in your family, with your loved ones, and with everyone you see on the street. Instead of suffering from all kinds of diseases, one after another, losing money, losing a job, losing health, losing a house, becoming homeless, losing lives because of disaster or diseases and suffering endlessly in hell. So please choose a good one, the first one, okay? The paradise-like style on earth for yourself, loved ones, and for everyone else. Just be vegan, make peace, do good deeds if you can, or just be happy when somebody does good deeds. Be joyful, encourage them if you can't do good deeds. A lot of things are good deeds. Just pick up a worm and return him to the ground where the grass is so he can survive. Pick up the spider and put him out where he can survive better than in your dry home. Don't step on any worms or any little snails or insects in your garden or on your pathway. Don't eat any more bloody animal people meat. Let them all be free. Don't ever have any more people slaughter houses, any more people livestock raising again. Just leave that meat of all beings alone. Take up vegan. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughter houses, no more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. We have plenty to eat. In the old times, people didn't have a lot of animal people meat. I remember in my village, not everybody had animal people meat. Not every day. Only when there were festivals or when they had celebrations for something, really. And they survived. They were happy, happier than the generation now. You know, whatever I told you, you might think, oh, it's just uh, small things and common stuff. Anybody can say it. But this is the thing, the truth, that you should remember and practice. When I was having group meditation with my disciples in France. One of the female disciples was from Russia even, but she's a British, married a British and has British children. She came to me and said, Master, what do you eat? That, that. And I said, oh, I eat this and this and that, whatever they cook for me. She said, oh, Master, I will buy you some super food. I will tell them to buy you super food. Okay, said and done. Next time, Next uh, day, a few days later, I saw that I had extra food, like quinoa, and 
And uh, Chia said, oh. And I thought, oh, these are superfoods. You know, for example, these things, superfoods. She said, yeah, master, very nutritious. Yeah, superfood for you. So they prepare it like the chia seeds, putting them in water for a while, and then they become expanded, you know? Yeah, like a transparent kind of seed. And you drink that with a little bit of uh, sweetened, like uh, agave syrup, you know? And that is a superfood. <laughs> also put it on salad, you know, to eat that so-called superfood. I didn't say anything to them. I didn't want to disappoint them. I said, oh, thank you, thank you. I will eat them. But I was thinking to myself, these foods I ate on the street in Vietnam <laughs> all the time when I was young. And we ate even the, the plant that produces chia seeds. You know, we ate quinoa, we ate millet, all kind of so-called superfoods. We had it all the time. You know, like people would have a little cart on the street with ice, and they would sell us these uh, chia seeds in water with lemon and sugar or, you know, sweetened uh, syrup with uh, uh, crushed ice in it. Oh, and it was delicious. We always drank it. Yeah, whenever I could see one, you know, passing by in school time or wherever, we could do it at home also. I never thought of them as anything special when I was younger up to that time in France that they introduced to me that they are superfoods. And then I looked on the internet, oh, they are gaga all over it. <laughs> in Vietnam, we just drank it as kids or teenagers all the time because it's hot. So we passed by any street side cart, you know, a small cart, and we just drank it. And many other things, you know, normal, common in our lifestyle in Vietnam. I never appreciated it or thought it was precious or superfood, nothing. You see that? So many common things you take for granted are actually very, very good for you. So please listen to all this common sense that I have told you. Just be vegan. No more killing karma, no more new karma. So then they will have no killing karma to break out into war when it's accumulated into a huge, huge, enormous pile of badness that will be overwhelming our lives. It will break out somewhere when it's too much, too overweight. So please, just be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. I keep saying that every day. I wrote it on the show in many slogans that air on our Supreme Master television for you. But that is very common sense. It doesn't sound great or galactic to you, but it works. It will ensure that life on Earth will be lasting, happy, healthy, and contented forever like that, like in paradise. And when you die, shedding this physical clothing that we call the body, we'll have another body. It depends on how good we are here, we have a better body. We have many bodies. This physical body is just one of them. And there is the astral body, the personal body, the Brahman type of body, etc. Okay? I tell my disciples more at the time of initiation. It's not something that you can casually just mention anywhere. Okay. I pray that God will help us, Almighty God will help us with all His love for us, His children, so that we be strong enough to change our lives. And even if the karma is all deleted or erased, we have to continue with a good way of life so that our life will become like in paradise with all the things we need, like a dream come true. Amen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for changing your life for the better, for yourself, your loved ones, and for all of us on the planet. Amen. My God loves you. My God bless you. My God grace you. My God bestow on you more enlightenment so that you can have liberation, that you can feel truly God loves you. You can feel that your life is not born to be wasted 
in madness and in a reckless lifestyle, but in nobility, in holiness, as the children of God. I thank you. You see, so it's now up to you, up to you to change your life, change the destiny of your life, make yourself a better being, representing God and all that is good. Make this world into a beautiful place, the way you would want to have for yourself and your loved ones. Thank you. I'm counting on you, yeah? Otherwise, the Creator and Maya will continue to make excuses to try to find a way to torture you, to hinder your spiritual development and block your way to paradise. Please help me. Don't let them win again in their wicked way. Please help me. Also help them to free themselves from this cycle of badness, of illusion, of a perilous kind of existence and making you suffer for it. Please, 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 one last time, please. I count on you. I plead with you as one of your friends. May God bless us all. May God love us all, forgive us all, and help us to change for the better. Amen. Most beloved Master, because of your boundless love for humanity and all God's children on this planet, we are blessed with the great opportunity to wake up today and take our destiny into our own hands by creating a vegan paradise on earth and living a life of goodness and virtue we will experience the wonder of abundance and eternal joy with each new day we are grateful for heaven's benevolence and pray for everyone to let the light of salvation in by being vegan as it is the merciful offer of peace that we need to accept may precious master always be secure with robust health and serene surroundings in the Divine's protection. Please tune in for the broadcast of Supreme Master Ching Hai's message with more subtitles on Monday, September 18, 2023 on Between Master and Disciples. Also, for your reference, please check out the previous related Between Master and Disciples messages and conferences such as A Conversation with Demon, addressing the creation system humans must cooperate and be vegan for lasting peace and happiness heavens assist those on the benevolent vegan path appreciate god's leniency and listen to his commandments pray for world liberation etc to view these and more related between master and disciples messages and conferences all free for download please visit suprememastertv.com and search for together we can